Do you want to know how to get back in shape in 2019? You know, today's the 30th of January and we're already completed with one month. There's only 11 more months to go. But today, as you woke up, I want to ask you a question. Where did you find yourself with your commitment going into 2019? Because a little over 30 days ago, you had these thoughts inside your head of what different actions you're going to take, what different plans you're going to make. and and ultimately walked into 2019 hopefully with a goal. If you didn't go into 2019 with a goal, I'm so glad you found this channel because it's gonna help you step up your game and your mindset and start to put a plan in place to help you advance in life. And I'm not saying that you're stagnant, boo-boo. I'm not saying that you're not you know, making moves or trying to move forward, but I believe that if you put a simple plan in place and you measure your progress by milestones, and have this kind of log that you can look back on and see how far you've come, you'll know exactly where you're going. In this episode, what I wanna do is I wanna share something that I'm coming you know, with, with full experience because I'm going through it right now and it's it's getting back into shape it's getting back into the swing of things you know for those of you who don't know or this is your first time visiting the channel i took us about a six week long break of not training as hard not going to the gym as consistently um, not following a, a proper diet as consistently and i kind of just splurged you know I, I i man i don't know what happened i just <laughs> i just kind of you know it just snowballed but you know what was funny is that while i was going through it i actually looked forward to the challenge i looked forward to to kind of testing my discipline and testing my consistency and and it's it's funny man because as i was going through it you know right from the very beginning from the beginning of this year and trying to get back into the swing of things one of the hardest challenges and i think you'll agree especially if you're walking in 2019 with this expectation to get back into shape or get back on track or get back into the swing of things is that when you haven't done it for a while it's very hard right and our worst enemy is going to be that inner voice in our head that says you know what just give it another week or it's basically that voice of procrastination and the voice of settlement also kicks in so they're both talking to you You hear both of them right both like one procrastination would be like man just start tomorrow or man th this week it's cold or, or man it's, it's raining outside let's just do it tomorrow that you hear that voice and then you hear the voice of settlement <laughs> the voice of settlement is after you beat procrastination you get into the swing of things and then settlements all okay man it's been 10 minutes that's good let's just go home <laughs> <laughs> you know what at least you try let's just go hey man look it looks like you're sweating let's you know what that's it that's enough for the day that's the voice of settlement and what we have to do is incorporate the voice of of motivation and the voice of influence and the voice of inspiration and and our inner dialogue has to be strong in order to do such and what I found in order to get the ball rolling is you just need to start and let me go ahead and map out and tell you what helped me start. What helped me start was was waking up early. And what reason why is because I, I come from a full household. You know, I got a wife and kids at home. And I, you know, right when I get into the day as a manager, I, I manage uh, about over 10 employees. And so I have just alerts and email notifications and deadlines and, and objectives and all these different things that grab at my attention. And so what I've started doing was waking up at four, actually between four, four thirty. I'm guilty. I still hit snooze here and there. And so by, but by, by four thirty, the latest, I'm out of bed. And what I do is I create this morning ritual where I log, you know, specific things. It's, it's like positive affirmations. So like I am successful. I am, um, you know, I'm a multimillionaire. I am, I already have, you know, certain things. And it's these positive affirmations that kind of set the tone and set the mood. And it puts you in this delusional state where your your mindset believes and perceives and so you radiate that type of energy you know everything from i am a successful business owner i own multiple businesses i own multiple investment properties and those are the things that i ultimately want and and i believe that you know those are the things that you need to kind of put in that's a, one of the very first things you need to feed your brain and one of them is i am in optimal health i am in the best shape of my life and so i'm starting my morning this way and after that's done then i then i hydrate and i drink a huge glass of water take my certain my, you know vitamins and supplements and um then i get prepared for the gym and so but before you know when 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 i used to try and start to get the ball rolling i would just wake up get dressed and try to go to the gym and it was hard because my body wasn't warmed up my mindset wasn't warmed up and so I invite you to try this is is number one is in order to even get the ball rolling you need to incorporate discipline into your schedule if you don't if you don't have the discipline or the consistency it's going to be a, a tough journey ahead so look at the discipline training and consistency training as starting to wake up early because that's step number one 
is if you can't even wake up early or you can't get yourself out of bed, that's how you're starting your day. You know, even though I hit snooze and you may hit snooze from time to time, that's kind of the very first settlement in the day. And so if you look at that and you say, okay, I need little mini wins throughout my day. Well, the very first win is to not hit snooze and pop out of bed. And the very first thing you should do is drink some real cold water because that changes your state. It wakes you up. And, and as you kind of get the ball rolling, you get the progress running, whether you start your morning ritual and you wake up early for the first couple days and inside that couple days, maybe you just do some light stretching or maybe some light walking around the neighborhood, you get the ball rolling, but you have to incorporate the discipline of waking up early. When you wake up early, the upside and the bonus is that you get a, a massive head start in your day and you get to achieve so much before the day starts. You know, on average, by the time I get in in the morning, which is about 8.30, I've done so much. I've, I've, I've went to the gym, I've created content, I've, cre I've written a blog, I've written a post, I've created an automated email drip, I've, I've created some content and put some uh, content together for future content. And I, you know, you're able to do so much that helps you feed your brain because that first couple hours is dedicated to treating you and it's dedicated to self-improvement, it's dedicated to self-development. And I think that if you're waking up right now and you're jumping straight to your cell phone and you're reacting to the challenges and the troubles within the day, you're already setting up the momentum of that day to be a grind. And so this is why you find yourself fatigued or why you find yourself easily agitated is because you don't really have any time for yourself because you're spread so thin. So do yourself a favor, wake up early and that's how you start the ball. That's how you get the ball rolling. That's how you start the movement and the momentum. And you have to hold yourself accountable. So think about when you were a kid or and it was maybe the first day of school or not even a kid, right? Let's just go recently. Like maybe it was the first day in work on your job or the first time you ever dated a girl or maybe your partner or companion. The day before, right? Like you had everything mapped out. You had everything planned. You were kind of rehearsing and you had everything planned out, everything from what you're gonna wear, what jeans, what shoes, right? Like, yeah, how you're gonna look, did you get your hair cut? Like, you got prepped for that occasion. It was, again, the first day of school, first day of work, first day on a date, right? And, and I want you to take that concept because when we start this morning ritual, when we start to plan out our regimen, we can overthink it, we can overplan and we can procrastinate. So one way to remove the, the voice of procrastination is you gotta put yourself on a deadline because just like the first day of school, just like the first day of work, just like that date, there was a deadline. So you could plan all you want, but you know that no matter what, that, 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 that one day was coming and you had to execute that day. And so you need to kind of incorporate that type of sensation into your planning. So, you know, some of us use the first of the month and maybe we slipped and now it's the 30th. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> the whole month's gone. Whatever it is, just reset, just do it again, right? So maybe you slipped up, fine, first of February or the 3rd of February. It doesn't need to be the 1st, it doesn't need to be the 15th. Those are so, such cliche numbers. You know, we think like, oh man, at the beginning of the month, at the beginning of the year, and we hold ourselves to kind of that settlement, and those are external reasons. And my whole point in making these videos and this content is to teach you to adopt the mindset of a thermostat, not a thermometer. A thermometer is reactive to the environment, whereas a thermostat sets and changes the environment to its liking or its preference. Does that make sense? So I hope that this video helps you get back into shape in 2019 or helps you get back into track in 2019, helps you get back into the swing of things and building up your pipeline, building up your mindset, building up your confidence and doing everything that you need done in order to put yourself in track of getting to exactly where you want to go. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and comment on this video. If you haven't already, go to salesremaster.com, download a copy of my free sales script. It's very powerful. I've just actually updated it and included a purchase inbound and outbound script. So if you're taking purchase leads from internet aggregate leads, I got you on that script. It's a purchase inbound script. If you're calling out on maybe follow-ups or data of potential home buyers or maybe follow-ups on home buyers you talked to a while ago but maybe dropped out of contact, I got you. On that sales script, there's a purchase outbound sales script to help get them back into your pipeline, get them get back them, get them back into your queue and position yourself properly so that you're viewed at differently than any other purchase agent.
And I want you to understand that there's a plethora of content at Sales Remastered on Facebook and YouTube tomorrow, which is Thursday, every Thursday. Breakfast of Champions is back in, 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if this is your first time viewing the channel, be sure to hit the subscription button. Be sure to hit the bell so you're notified of any live streams and new content that I drop. If you're on Facebook, be sure to go to the homepage and hit that thumbs up like so that I'm on your feed. If you haven't already, listen to the, <laughs> read the motherfucking plug, bro. Follow me on Instagram at Sales Remastered. There's links below this video. And I hope you enjoy all the content that I got in store for you in 2019 because I hope we grow together. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.